wiki automation tool. Um, the reason um, why we are developing this is that we run multiple wikis. They all have different user groups. They all use different data models behind them. They all require a lot of maintenance. Uh, for instance, if you want to change a form or you want to add a property, it trickles down into multiple pages and a lot of edits and then you end up with inconsistencies. Um, so it's, it's very tough to, to maintain and, and while the data models get more complex over time, we run into bigger problems that are a threat to the events or the products that we uh, support with these wikis. Um, so uh, we recognize that and uh, wiki development is not our core task. Uh, we have uh, to do other things uh, on a daily basis like uh, world peace and stuff like that. So um, this is a sidetrack, uh, but, uh, but we are not very effective in how we spend our time. We spend our time in doing mediocre maintenance on wiki markup instead of governing the, the overall picture and only spending our, our, our creativity on the things that cannot be automated. Because we feel that in the design of, of a, um, a wiki, um, and I'm almost losing that screen as well, in the design of a wiki, uh, when you have a clear vision or a clear description of your data model, 90% of what you need is standard templates, forms, properties, category definitions, and your creativity is then that 10% that makes it special, tailor-made for your uh, situation. So, so what we did is uh, think about how can we automate that 90%. So, and the start is that if you have a data model, and you define the data model in a way that it can be consumed by a certain piece of software that can translate that data model into all those things that you otherwise need to add to that single white page that you end up with when you install MediaWiki on your system. Right? The, the, the pack of flour that you have, to speak with Greg, um, all the things that you need to add. And the data model that we chose was, and, and, and this is somewhat ambiguous use of, of words, but we use, our data sets are called concepts, and those concepts are grouped together in packages. So here in this picture you see, okay, this is the data model. It has packages that uh, define a set of related concepts. Uh, concepts might be related to another, that, that, and that is the trick of the semantic relationship that we have, of course. Then they are, and, and concepts are uh, composed of properties, etc. So, so if, if someone who wants to have a wiki is able to write this down in a format that we need, and currently that is an XML file where we define everything, um, then, then we can use um, a, um, a piece of software to, to translate that into a set of standardized templates, forms, properties, categories, everything you need. And then you just upload your data and you're good to go. So, so what we did is we divided the runtime of the wiki, that's the middle piece, from the design time of the wiki. In the design time, you have the, uh, the wiki model schema. On top of that, we put the, the wiki model that we exclusively designed for a certain wiki. We run it through a wiki automation tool and then out pop what my colleague called the application pages. And those are the templates, forms, properties, categories. In the process, you can uh, maintain a change log so you know what you have been changing from a previous version of the wiki, and you can do that on a live wiki as well. So the change log, and you can, can uh, produce some, some incoherency reports for things that go wrong. But in that runtime, you, if, um, if you don't have this, uh, you don't have the purple blocks on uh, the schema, 
because the only thing that you end up with is a wiki platform with a wiki instance. So on top of that, our software projects the application pages and some uh, CSS files that we need for the particular uh, wiki and then you're good to go. That, that defines in itself the data model on the wiki and then we populate it with data and, um, and, and uh, that constitutes the, the, the runtime uh, version of our uh, wiki. Um, supposed to be, uh, it runs very quick um, unfortunately, I don't have it on my uh, laptop yet. There were some, some bugs that we needed to, uh, to cover first, but uh, we're hopeful that uh, within two or three months we have it running because uh, we have a big project coming up uh, over the summer where uh, we need to use this uh, explicitly. Um, right now, um, 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 yeah, like I said, we're, we're about uh, to go live uh, w with this tool. Uh, so to give you give you an idea um, what it does, um, let me see. Oh, um, the wiki model, um, like I said, it's just an, uh, an an XML file. Here you see, for instance, the start of the de definition of the data model. With uh, uh, this package is called standards management, and it has a concept named uh, profile. Um, and profile has these properties and down in the, in the XML these properties are defined in what data type they have etc etc and that's that's about the way that you define your data model you can even define how it's being displayed on the screen because we have some some uh, some choices in there as well um, then um, forget about the change log the uh, application pages, what you see is what we generate uh, based upon the model are the, um, the, the, um, uh, the, the files for the packages and the concepts and the related properties. Uh, we keep an extensive library of files in the project namespace that give us a better insight of how the data model functions and, and what goes uh, in where. So we have overview pages per per data set, so to speak, uh, that gives us a, a better uh, insight in the underwater behavior of, of the data model. And because in the project namespace, it's way out of vision for the generic users. Now, next to the model-based generated pages, we also can add a common library of, uh, of pages. And think about uh, those templates that you use in every wiki that you have because they are so um, nice uh, to have or, or CSS files uh, th that, you, that you use in, in every page because it gives you, or in every wiki, because it gives you that added functionality that you don't have in the default setting. So those are easy to add as well. So you can, can, can add a base functionality there that doesn't require any uh, generation from the model. Um, but, but as you see on, 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 the, on the page, it will give you some pages in the, in the project namespace that, that gives you an overview of what each um, uh, part of, of the model uh, is. And then per package concept, uh, all the properties uh, that we have um, and, and the common library with, uh, with all the default uh, templates that we move over. Uh, so this is all very well documented. The CSS files that we use, they are all linked and, and uh, displayed so you can see uh, what, what goes in there. Even the color schemes that we use for different concepts. Um, and um, let me see. Oh, and, and the result is um, things that the uh, functions that we use to hard code every time again in, in templates. And sometimes you use templates in templates of templates to standardize look and feel functionality on your pages. These are all now part of, of that wiki automation. We don't have to worry about that anymore. And instead of nesting multiple templates over and over again, because all the templates are generated automatically by a computer, you know, we, we don't have to worry about, the, the reason why you use a template for a piece of code is because you don't want to type it over and over again and you don't want to make 
um, uh, mistakes or, or introduce inconsistency because you change the part of code in one page but not in the other. But if all those pages are generated by a piece of software, then by definition they all are consistent already. So a lot of the things that normally you would have in multiple nestings of templates uh, can now be directly configured into the page itself and, and that gives you some, uh, some advantage in, in sp speed of processing and stuff like that. Um, so here, it, this is just a, a very simple um, e uh, example of, of what we have in the wiki. This is still in the project namespace, but it shows you the packages we have installed at this moment and uh, in each package what concepts uh, there are. So in what we call the C3 taxonomy, we have services and applications and you can see a listing, a tree format, you can add new with the, with the default form that we have, etc., etc. So, and, and to give you an idea, normally in, in our enterprise mapping wiki, our EM wiki, if you have a application, like for instance, airspace control application, you have a description, you have a, a navigator on the side, uh, you have a nice little graph that shows the place in, in, a, um, in a hierarchy of applications, uh, requirements definitions, you have the services that uh, are required to run that application, the capability standards, the information products that are being consumed or that are generated as output, etc., etc. This is just one example of one wiki that we have. This one is for our enterprise architecture. And in, so this is how it looks right now and this is how it looks in in, the, in the, the new setting. It doesn't have all those semantic relationships yet because we haven't transposed all the data and all the functions in that new data model yet. But you see that it's a very clean um, uh, navigator with uh, the simple links for the category, for a tree listing, for a uh, semantic search, for uh, opening the form and in relation to other concepts. And, and the, the point is, this didn't take any editing. I didn't touch the templates, I didn't touch the forms. I, I just defined the data model, we run the code, and uh, what is it, 10 seconds, 15 seconds later, you have a completely installed or a completely refreshed wiki with all the templates, forms, uh, properties and categories and all the things that you define on top of that there may always be pages that or templates that are not part of that wiki automation for whatever stupid reason they are not deleted they will still be there but the things that that you have if you want to update them if you want to add a property or you want to um, change or, or add a category whatever you don't do it in the wiki anymore, you do it in the XML file, you press run, and it's in the wiki. Um, so it makes it very easy to design and maintain a wiki. It makes it easy to replicate a wiki. Now, and I had a short discussion uh, with, uh, with Cindy yesterday. Is that, so what, what the good thing is, is we've discussed yesterday about how to e make installation packages for wikis. right? And there are multiple ways to do that. But then you're with a blank, bare-bone wiki page, then you have to start coding. This helps us to do a lot of that, 90% or maybe 95% of what we want to achieve. Now, the next step is, and, and Cindy was absolutely right in that, the next step is we now need to define our data model in XML. And XML is, it's even harder to combat than, than wiki markup, right? And so, so, so it, takes a, it takes a lot of effort to do it right. Uh, you do it step by step. Uh, and if you have a complex data model, it, uh, it takes quite a bit of time uh, to do that. It's hard labor. Um, what would be nice if eventually you would have a, a more graphical user interface so that you wouldn't ask your 
your user group, your, your audience, your, your customers to go hack uh, XML to create a wiki, right? Just, just ask them to define it in a, in a graphic interface and, and if that translated into the XML or into any other format that we can process in our automation tool, then that will be great as well. Um, so, um, I'll, I'll certainly will take it home uh, and uh, we'll discuss that. Now, the thing is, it isn't operational yet. It will be in the next couple of months. Now, Jaron, I remember I brought this up uh, two years ago uh, in the EMWCon in uh, New York. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's taken more time that we, than we wanted. Um, but um, I'm pretty sure that uh, by the next EMW con, we're, we're able to uh, present this. Uh, but uh, if, if it runs well, uh, one of the options is also if we could you know, make this available to a, a wider user community and that other people could, uh, could have a go at this as well. Any questions? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Change the model if you if you uh, create the model, create the wiki, and mm -hmm. change templates that have been generated. Yeah. Um, what add fields or? Yeah, you you do that in the XML file. You you run the wiki automation tool again, and and it replaces your old templates with the new ones, yeah, and you get. Yeah. Yeah. Um, on the wiki itself. You can, but those will be overwritten. Yes. Yeah. So the so the best way is to define it in uh, the model. If you have templates that you do not want to be generated, then you choose a different name that's, that's not part of, of what is being generated by the model, and then it will remain. Um, I, I have a lively discussion with my, my colleague who is programming this stuff. Uh, he is absolutely sure that any template can be generated in his tool. So that is his youthful enthusiasm that I, uh, I appreciate very much, but I, I don't think that that is entirely true. I think there will be, there will be reason enough for templates to, uh, to exist outside of that 90%, or maybe it's 95% that we generate automatically. But you know, even if, if, a, um, if a user wants to make a template, for whatever stupid reason, but because he feels comfortable with how he or she uses the data on the wiki and, and wants to display, display it on some pages in their own user domain. Who am I to stop her? Right? That should be possible. So, so that is. But in principle, oh, that's, that, oh, that's one thing that, 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 that Cindy asked as well, is everything that is being generated by the wiki automation tool is protected. So only administrators have editing rights to change them. So users cannot change the templates, forms, categories, properties, anything, the CSS files, anything that is being defined through that automation tool is all protected from editing. Users are supposed to focus on content Content is the most important thing that we have on our wikis. That's where they need to do their edits. We don't want them to edit the templates. Good question. A quick, quick question. Is the, uh, yeah. uh, is the XML, are you designing that from scratch? Are you using any standard for the, for the XML? I presume you're doing a schema to define yeah. what, what it is. Are you... I, I was sort of thinking about XMI when you mm -hmm. were talking. Is that a potential to be able to translate from XMI into your XML? I don't know. 
Might be. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not too familiar with that. Uh, oh, okay. That is part of the work that my, uh, my colleague has done. Uh, but he has, I, I have stressed this from the beginning that he needed to document it very well. So luckily for me and my, and my colleagues who now have to run some wikis through this process, is he has documented in a, in a manual, very detailed, what goes where and how we do that. For instance, you know, it, it, you will have, the, if, when you load it up with data, it will be displayed in a certain way. Well, do you want to have it in bullet lists or in plain text? Do you want to have tables? Do you want to have it in a, a pie chart? Do you want to have, well, so there are so many ways to display things and there is a way to already define in the XML how data right, so on certain pages are being expressed. Right. So he documents that, so he said, there you put a line between those tags and then you fill in either this one or that one or those values and then you will have the outcome. If you don't like the outcome, you change uh, the XML, you run the, uh, the script again and uh, you see the results. Is, are people interested to get a demonstration and see more of this when it finally works? Is that something that I could, you know, plan ahead for the next uh, conference? No, yeah, okay, good, good. If there are no more questions, then I can close shop here.